Hello and welcome to Dynamic Arrays 3. This is the third in our three-part series uncovering the Dynamic Arrays capability of Excel. So, so far in this series, our spill range has spilled down. But I wanted to include a couple of examples that demonstrate how the spill range can spill right as well. So, to do this, we are going to try to get a subset of these values. In other words, we want to create a list of just the refunds. So to do that, we're going to use the filter function. And the filter function just returns a subset of the range. So we give it the, the range, which is the entire table, comma. And then for the include argument, we would say that we want to return all of the columns in this table, but we only want to include those rows where okay, the type column is equal to and then the value. In this case, we want to see all the refunds. So we close the function and hit enter. And now we have a list of the refunds. And once again, this is a dynamic array, which means if we add a new refund, or if we change one of these to refund, that's going to automatically appear in this, um, in, in this result. Okay, and let's take a look at one more example, XLOOKUP. So we want to go find the account number in this chart of accounts, and we want to return not only the account name, we also want to return this FS column value. So traditionally, we might use a VLOOKUP to do this, and we might use VLOOKUP to return the value in the second column, and then another VLOOKUP function here to return the value in the third column. But we can use the new and improved XLOOKUP function, which is a designed to be a replacement to VLOOKUP, where we can go find the account num, comma, in here, and instead of specifying the entire table, we just specify the lookup column. So go find this in here, comma, and then instead of uh, identifying a single return column, we can actually say just return both of these columns. Close the function and hit enter. Yes, it worked. So 5030 is office supplies and expense, office supplies and expense. And now we can just fill this formula down and the results spill right. All right. Hey, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 